know when I was deeper into my eating disorder and depression that comes along with eating disorder. That was my rock that I clung to whenever anything stressful would happen. At least I had that. That was my rock of solitude. And it's not a good rock to cling to. Look at all these rocks. This beach is full of rocks. There's so many rocks in life that you can cling to that can be your solitude, your strength to get you through the day. That rock for me now is being vegan and compassion and the lifestyle of compassion, you know, veganism. It could be religion. It could be another person which is not a good rock to cling to because people come and go. That rock could be a passion, but that rock should not be your eating disorder. Your eating disorder should not be a rock. It should be a small stone that gets thrown away. Furthermore, with this metaphor, you have to wear down your rock. And sometimes it's too heavy to throw away. Maybe it's a big boulder, but if you get it to be tiny enough, you can throw it away. There are so many rocks to choose from. Uh, all of an eating disorder really is, is a coping mechanism for some deeper rooted problems. So, Get rid of that rock that you're clinging to, that you're holding on to, that is your stability in life, that is your control in life. Get rid of it. Deal with the issues. Yeah. I think maybe even a better metaphor for veganism would be not a rock that you cling to, although it could be that, is that it's more of a walking stick. Because it helps you get to the places where you want to go and be the person that you want to be. Metaphors 